A, B, the difference between having it in the group and out. Yeah, so warmth is that one that's cutting through the definition. And that one is, yeah, a little bit different, just a nice texture to that, which is giving it kind of a bit of movement. Now, what you will notice is that because they've got effects kind of built into the sample, it kind of starts without the delay. And then once the note hits, the delay starts and carries over. So okay, it's quite heavy, quite full on. I like it. Um, let's see what we can do to just clean it up. We want it heavy and driving, but we don't want it to be in the way of other instruments as such. So this one is definitely a vibe. So I think we'll just remove that initial transient and not really getting in the way of the kick. Now, we're, we're kind of EQing in isolation, so I suppose it's important to EQ with everything playing so we can kind of hear things in the mix. Yeah, here when I turn that, EQ on and off there in the sort of low mids, the disc, the track became a bit heavier and, and, and we, we obviously want to make it a bit, you know, as, as light as possible through this area because it can get muddy very quickly. Yeah, that works for me. Um, and I feel like when we, before we hit our kind of outro, um, it might be useful to just fade out just so we, we, we're sort of acknowledging that the track's going to come to a finish around here, but we'll see how that sounds when everything's in. Okay, let's just listen to that. There comes that percussion. Probably you, I remember correctly from the sound, yeah. That's quite a big one that we could put in there as well, maybe. Fill that space when we hit the build. All right, what's this one? Sounded very, very atmospheric, which is exactly what we wanted so that's perfect next we've got snare roll so um i guess we're looking for just something to help with our transitions i guess we want a little fill there probably definitely want something before the the breakdown just to drive us through there just check that warp yeah Let's turn it up yeah Perfect. Okay, good. Acid. Now I know in the toolkit volume two, there's some really nice acid loops, um, which we could definitely make use of. Again, tons of drive, tons of atmosphere. I'm just going to pull in the ones that kind of stick out. Don't want them too similar. 
I like that because you've got a sort of low one and then a high one. I wonder what they sound like together. Yeah. Let's bring the high one in there. And maybe this one can kind of fade in there. I don't know. We'll, we'll try. Let's do that. And another favorite is the acid energy stabs. I think that, you know, let's just have a look. And. Okay, there we go. So what I'm going to do is just take out the uh, 15 bars there. Duplicate this to, I guess, eight bars, isn't it? Yep. And then take the bass notes here, which is the G, these ones. And maybe these could uh, could move as, you know, like I said, extended over two bars, not one. Let's listen to that. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Um, I suppose we should put a, uh, a couple of filters at the front here. So we've got um, options for high pass and low pass. Um, just check that hasn't added any latency no that's good yep so that's pretty nice so we get the levels um, correct against the kick and the sub A bit better. I think we're okay on processing. Maybe the impact's in. Let's just check how our impact is working. You know, let's um, let's test. So that Okay. 